everybody, Christina here from the Tech Savvy Science Teacher and I'm going to bring you a quick walkthrough through Zygote Body. Zygote Body is a 3D anatomy viewer where you get to view various components of the body um, to, you know, study it further. So let's just jump right in. It'll make sense once you see it. So first I'm going to go up to the top right over here and I'm going to click Sign In. Now you can create a full account or you can just click the G and sign in with your Google account. Whatever works best for you. So it's going to ask you for permission and you can just allow it. Once you are here, it's going to load the body for you. Now you're going to have a choice of either the female or the male body. So you can choose whichever one is best for you in your classroom. On the left side right here, by clicking and hovering over these three lines, you can choose between the adult male and the adult female. I'm just going to leave the adult female here. And if you take a look over here on the left side, there's the slider bar. And basically, as you pull the slider bar, now you're starting to strip away the skin and then we get to just the muscles, start stripping away the muscles, and we're starting to see a lot of the tendons and the ligaments, and then we get to the skeleton, which then gets removed, and now we have all the internal organs we're looking at that then get removed. We have the cardiovascular system that then gets removed. We have the nervous system that then gets removed, excuse me, the peripheral nervous system, which then gets removed, and then we have the central nervous system and the brain, and eventually we're down to nothing. So you can see how you can slide through different things here. And of course, you can click and just go to specific things. Now you might say, well, what if I want the muscles and the skeleton, but I don't want any of the other systems? If you come down here to the bottom, you're going to click this with the two dashes right above each other and now you have a slider for each of the things uh, each of the systems so if I just want the what did I say the muscle muscles the muscular system and the bones and maybe also the ligaments I'm going to turn off everything else so I guess that's not a good one because the muscles are covering up the bones. So maybe I'm going to do the bones. Should I include the ligaments? No, let's take off the ligaments and tendons, but then I'm also going to throw in the internal organs. So now I can see what's happening here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click just anywhere and I'm going right to left. I'm just moving my mouse right to left and you see how it spins. I can also zoom in and zoom out. I'm just using the zoom um, the scroll on my trackpad to zoom in and out. So maybe I'm going to move it up and the back because I really want to zoom in on the um, the pelvis, say, you know. Or maybe I want to look at, here we go, let's move up. Let's zoom out a little bit. I want to move right here on the elbow and I really want to see how that looks. I can also do that up here by clicking the plus and the minus buttons to zoom in and out. And the right and left arrows will spin it that way. And the up and down arrows will move it up and down. The home button just kind of brings it back to the home. So these are pretty much the basic features of Zygote Body. Um, when you log in, if you're logging in for the first time, it's going to ask you to choose a plan. And I always choose the $0, I think it's called the light plan. Um, because as a teacher, I don't have the money to pay for all these extra things. So if you try clicking on any of these things on the right side, you're going to see a lot of them say that you need to go premium to get to them. And if you want to, you can go ahead and investigate um, what extras you would get. For the, I think there's a $4 a month and maybe a $10 a month. I don't remember what the other two plans are. But I think that the free version gives you a really good um, basis to kind of go into the various components of the body. So 
I'd love to hear what you're doing for your anatomy studies in your class. Feel free to comment on this video. And also, if you look in the description, you will see a blog post or a link to the blog post that I wrote all about zygote body. So have a great day, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Bye.